Today from the Feeling Good Kitchen, we're making some incredible organic dishes just for you. Hi, I'm Sujai Steinhauer, and you're watching Feeling Good. I'm taking this as a personal mission. It's crispy on the outside and tender and juicy on the inside. Excellent. With Rob Arbogast. Why? Because I have a date coming over and I need a quick hors d'oeuvre appetizer that is fantastic. Stress relief with yoga expert Mary Dignan. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. My light shines to yours. Namaste. Also, Erin Lee. Is this some fancy European chocolate cake? Sure, it's a fancy European cake. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you I mean, just made that up. Hi, I'm Sujai Steinhauer, and welcome to Feeling Good, the show that combines great organic food, fun, and exercise, designed to make you the very best you can be. Hi, y'all. I'm Christina Vigilante. Welcome to Feeling Good. We are here in lovely Old Town Pasadena at the beautiful Mojito Restaurant. I'm here with the one and only chef to the stars, Kyle Mack, and we are having a Mac attack today. Now, I think I heard that we're making pulled pork. Is that right? Absolutely. Pierna de lechon asada. It's a pulled leg of pork. The leg of pork is marinated in citrus juices uh -huh. with herbs and spices, oh. and then simmered until it falls apart. So what what is all of this in front of us? Well, for the leg of pork, we have the marinade ingredients, uh -huh. and we have lime, orange juice, uh -huh. and lemon. Okay. And we have oregano, salt five peppercorn blend. Okay. And thyme, bay leaf, mm -hmm. and that's our marinade. Okay. Now, is bay leaf poisonous if you eat it? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. And then you said this is plantain, right? This is plantain, yes. It's a green banana and it's um, eaten in a lot of parts of the world, mostly tropical. Okay, so now is the taste and the texture different or? Definitely, the green okay. banana is very starchy, not starchy. sweet. Starchy, okay. Not sweet, and we use it to make what's called tostones, okay. which are twice fried green bananas. Okay. Because you fry them once, then you flatten, and then you fry them again. Oh, so okay. So we're gonna skip that process and fry them directly. Okay. So we'll have a yeah, All right. Kyle is cooking the pork and the beans now. Now, pork and beans, I'm sure you all know, are not the easiest things to cook. So tell us a little bit about that. What are you doing exactly? Well, we've simplified the process for you today. Okay. Um, the it's marinade nice. that we used earlier was a citrus marinade. Uh-huh. Which aids in the breaking down. The pork. tenderization, Absolutely. okay. Because we use those marinades, we don't use lard. So, no lard. We try to make it as healthy as possible. Also, we I love that. Much of the fat off the top. So, then we uh, add thyme, black peppercorns, um, and all the, the ingredients that make it special. Uh huh. And so, uh, what we do is simmer it very slowly. And are you just are you cooking it in water or olive oil or what? Yes. Well, pork is very fatty. So, okay. Yeah, so we try to uh, trim as much fat as possible. Okay. We don't add any oil to the cooking process. So you don't want lard. excess fat. Absolutely. So we cook it in lard. Okay. This is California. We're very health yeah, conscious absolutely. here. Very healthy. Keep the waistline trim. So, okay. So that's great. And then what are you doing with the beans? Okay. Now the beans uh, have been soaked overnight. Okay. And now we've added all of the ingredients. The bay leaf, the sofrito, the cumin. So it's full of flavor. It's full of flavor. All of the wonderful ingredients. Okay. The garlic. So now we simmer it slowly. We don't actually boil the beans. We simmer slowly. Okay, so that's our beans. And yes. then we have rice too also. Yes, we do. We have, okay. For the for this particular dish, we use steamed white rice. Okay. Plain rice. Okay, no because jasmine rice. Flavorful. No, no, no. We use just a regular uh, rice. White rice. Well, Can it work with brown long rice? Grain, long grain rice. Absolutely. Okay. Brown, brown rice is so healthy for you. Right. And okay. Delicious. I use it as a substitute. Okay. So. so you can use white rice, brown rice, whatever you want, yes, but you maybe it works best with the white rice. Yes, it does. Okay. Well, it's classic with the white rice. The pork is actually marinated in all of the ingredients we talked about. Okay. You know, it gets to a point where it just really falls apart when you touch it. You know, it's, it's beautiful. pork, but if you just touch it lightly with a spoon. It looks beautiful. So it's just kind of simmering in its own juices right now. Yeah, you don't boil it, you actually simmer it. So between the low 
heat cooking process. Okay. And the citrus marinade uh -huh. falls apart. Okay, no so it's like a slow all. cooking, yes. fruit flavor kind of thing. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's yes. beautiful. So you have your beans, your rice, and your pork. So now, are we ready to play? Yes, we are. Okay, awesome. So how how do we do it? What's going on? Well, we use this ring mold to mm -hmm. actually place the rice inside. Mm -hmm. Push it down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, wh where can you and get then, like a ring mold? Um, actually, they're available at any of your craft stores okay. or even uh, kitchen stores. Oh. Where they sell food products. And don't worry if a small amount falls on top of the beans. We're going to cover that up. Okay, it's a messy meal anyway, so. Oh, somewhat. <laughs> and add just a little bit of the juice on there. Mm. And then, mm -hmm. we can actually place the pork on top of the mold uh -huh. and do it as such. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah. One more. Now, how do you how do you get the ring out of there? Okay. Then pull the ring off like this. Oh, beautiful. And anything does fall by the wayside, put it back on. There. Uh huh. Now that we've prepared that, we're going to place the stones back here. Okay. They smell really good. Oh yes. And just a little bit of the avocado first. On top. On top. Uh huh. And this is a combination of avocado and cilantro. Oh wow, so it's yeah. really fresh. Oh yes, very fresh. And a couple of cherry tomatoes to boot. So here we have a beautiful pulled pork dish. It looks amazing and I know it's gonna be delicious. Pierna de leton asada. Asada. I'm Christina Vigilante, this is Chef Kyle Mack and we'll be right back with more Feeling Good. Hi, I'm Erin Lee with Feeling Good back at the gorgeous Mojito restaurant. We're here with the owner, Phil, and we are about to try the fruits of my very difficult labors in the kitchen all day, as if I even made this dish, which I didn't. What are we eating here? This is a very traditional Cuban dish. It's mm. called lechon asado, which is roasted pork. It comes with uh, white rice, black beans, mm. and bananas on the side, which mm. tastes very good. And should we have a mojito with this? Should we have wine, water? I usually what should recommend if you get this plate, you have a nice glass of Pinot Noir. Oh, light wine. excellent. Okay, well we had mojitos before, so we will have some red wine with this. Absolutely. And uh, I'm ready. Now, Now, should I take from the top and go all you the way to do all should, of it? Absolutely. You should get a little bit of pork and rice and beans, and I think that whole... Okay, I'm going to do so like a little flavor smush. Of everything. Here we are. Thank oh, you thank very you much. Okay. okay. Here we go. I'm trying it. Here we go. Absolutely incredible. Mmm. Oh, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The pork, it like melts in your mouth. It does. It's very lemony, garlic. Oh and my it's just gosh. Fresh ingredients. It's uh, absolutely good. It, it does. It has a lot of citrusy flavors to it. Yes. Are you going to let me sit here and eat this whole thing absolutely. by myself? Absolutely. That's all yours, but mm. I'll share some. Oh my god, that is fantastic. If, um, mmm. Very good. More, more. Could you put some um, spice on there if you wanted to? Oh, sure, absolutely. A little uh, pepper or salt, how to, according to your taste that you or, like. Or it's very lemony mm -hmm. and very garlicky. Excellent. We're going to finish this on Feeling Good, and we'll be back with you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs> this is fantastic. Mmm, love it. Very good. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sujai Steinhauer, and you're watching Feeling Good. And I'm Erin Lee. Tell us what we're making today. today. I see chocolate, that's all I know. Today we're making a flourless chocolate cake. Yummy. With a raspberry sauce. Mmm. What do we have here? Uh, here we have some organic 70% dark chocolate. Uh, we have some organic eggs. Okay. Uh, some butter, mm -hmm. ground almonds, oh. also almond meal, um, organic sugar, mm -hmm. some frozen raspberries which we've mm. defrosted. And we're actually going to be sweetening that today with some agave nectar. Okay, so the first thing we do is we turn our oven on, which I have done. We're using a special tin today. Mm -hmm. It's a spring form. There's a buckle on it. Yes. This is a huge thing because it's impossible to get a cake out. Exactly. Without getting it all stuck everywhere. Okay. So we're going to grease our pan. Okay. Um, we have some nice melted butter here. Mm. And uh, I'm just using greaseproof paper here to put it on so my fingers stay clean. Now 
Now, when we're done with that, we're gonna dust it with some almond meal. Okay. Um, so we pour it in. I like to do this, the next part over the sink. But can you see how we're just moving it around mm -hmm. so it just dusts it lightly? On the sides and the bottom? On or the just sides, the side? okay. all over. And you kind of have to spank the sides. Gently spank the sides. It sounds like you've done this before. Well, <laughs> I am an expert in the kitchen. <laughs> we all know that is so not true. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt together our chocolate, our butter, and our sugar. Okay. We're going to put this in a double boiler. Double boiler. Don't be afraid of a double boiler, Erin. <laughs> Um, basically, all this means is a pot of boiling water, well, yes. simmering, gently simmering water. Okay. And we're going to put a metal bowl above On top it. Of it. And we're going to let our ingredients just melt together. And that's so that it doesn't burn. So it doesn't burn. Okay. Um, and we just want them to melt, not to cook. Okay. And sugar? And the sugar. Okay. Fantastic. And we're going to put those over there on top of the pan of barely simmering water. So while our ingredients are coming together in the double boiler, mm -hmm. we are going to whisk the eggs with the almond meal. Okay. And I know that you like to whisk. I'm good at whisking. Okay, I'm so whisk. you're just going to pour this in there. Okay. Perfect. And whisk. Okay. Great. Can you see this? Look at they're not even breaking. You Maybe can be... I'm not so good at whisking. <laughs> You can be a little firmer. Okay, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. Per perfect whisking. Okay, thank you very wow. much. Wow. I know. This woman knows how very to whisk. Very impressive. I'm actually really glad that you're in the kitchen with me today. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I, I'm taking this as a personal mission um, because this is such an easy recipe. And I for know- For chocolate cake? For chocolate cake, flourless chocolate cake. So you have the decadence, mm -hmm. but you can feel good because it feels light when you eat it. And where is this from? Is this an American chocolate cake? Is this some fancy European chocolate cake? It's sure, it's a fancy European oh. cake. No, <laughs> I mean, just it's just one that of those. <laughs> it's one of those basic things. It's like, you know, everybody should have like a chocolate mousse, sure. a flourless chocolate cake, uh, some kind of fruit dessert. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we're ready to turn our uh, ingredients off. Oh, okay. Because um, we don't actually want them to boil. Boil. Okay. We just want them to melt together. I'm going to take another whisk and just whisk them around a little bit. Um, so we've turned the heat off and we just it's hot enough in there that we can whisk it around and let these ingredients melt together. It looks incredible already. Very rich and decadent. The Not the whisker, the whisk. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this here and we can carry on whisking it a little bit. And then this just goes right in there? Yeah, we're going to do it in little bits. We're going to... Okay. Have patience, is that what fold. you're saying? Yes. Okay. Now when you say fold, what is that? As opposed to just mixing it in like a crazy person. Right, as opposed to pouring it all in at once. Okay, so folding um, is a little bit at a time? Folding is a little bit of a time. So if you want to pour me a little bit of egg, okay. a little bit in. Just a little? Yep, that's, that's great. That's good? Yep. Okay. And here we go. We're just folding it in. And what's going to happen is, is the egg incorporates with the chocolate mixture, the mixture's gonna become thicker. And this is it, this is our cake. Like once we mix this egg in here, that's it. That's it, we're gonna put wow. it in the oven. So that is easy. It, it really is easy. I actually might be able to do this. I think you might. And do you wanna give me a little bit a little more, more egg? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, perfect, that's great. And the secret here is just a little bit at a time. And we put in a little bit of time like this because we also don't want the egg to cook in this. So this batter has come together beautifully. Mm -hmm. It looks and like chocolate pudding. It does look like chocolate pudding. And now we are ready to put this into the cake tin. Okay, I don't have to do anything, right? Maybe hold the cake tin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna move this a little bit as we put it in, so okay. we try and get it all even. even. Uh-oh. Thank God I was here. Did you see that accident just seriously avoided? See, I told you I was happy to have you in the I'm kitchen today. I'm telling you. I was not lying. <laughs> Fabulous assistant. So it just barely covers the bottom. Right. Uh, fla flourless cakes don't rise that much. Ah, They're quite dense. It's going to be very... <laughs> We're going to put this in the oven for 30, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. and then we'll be moving on to a delicious raspberry sauce. Yum, I can't wait for that. Wait till you see what's coming up next on Feeling Good. Hi, my name is Mary Dignan and welcome to the Feeling Good Gym. Today we're going to do some yoga poses that are going to help strengthen your quadriceps. So start with your hands at your heart. 
Taking a nice deep breath in and exhaling through the nose. Good. Now we're gonna bring the feet about three or four feet apart, depending on how tall you are. Your toes are gonna face the front of the room. You want a slight tuck in the tailbone. Hands to the heart, nice. Now go ahead and point the left toe out towards this way, and the right foot comes to a 45 degree angle. We're gonna bring both arms out straight and then sink into that left knee, good. So you wanna keep that tuck in the tailbone and your left knee right over that left heel. Breathing here. Might start to feel a little burn through this quadricep, that's a good thing. We always wanna challenge our limits in yoga. I'm gonna mirror you during our poses. So when I'm using my right foot, I'll say left, and when you're using your left foot, I'll be saying right. <laughs> good, so really sinking on in, bringing that thigh as close to parallel to the ground as possible. On an exhale, we're gonna come on up, pushing through. Good, and rotating that foot in. Other foot rotates towards the other side of the room. And sink on into that pose, bringing that right knee right over that right heel. Keeping the tailbone tucked to protect the spine. Good, the gaze is nice and easy out over that right middle finger. Breathing here. Nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. And on an exhale, come on up, bring that foot back center. Let's bring the hands to the heart and just squeegee the feet back on in. We're gonna come into chair pose. So you can either have your feet all the way together or a couple inches apart, whatever feels right for you. If your feet are together, you wanna be squeezing your thighs together, squeezing the knees together and sink on in like you're sitting in a chair. Again, keeping that slight tuck of the tailbone, feeling like someone's pulling a string from your heart. Good, drawing the biceps back towards the ears. Sink a little deeper. Nice deep breaths. Good, on an inhale, come on up. Circle the arms, bringing them back to the heart. Connecting to that breath. Thank you for practicing with me today. My light shines to yours. Namaste. Okay, so Erin, we are gonna put our cake in the oven, 350 oven, okay. for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, that's not long. Not long at all. Put that in. And abracadabra. Here's what it looks like when it comes out. Look at that. <laughs> now, it almost has a brownie consistency. It doesn't rise up like a birthday cake, per se. Right, that's because it's a flourless chocolate cake. Um, it's a lot denser. It's almost kind of fudgy. Mmm, mmm. So what do we top this with? We are going to make a raspberry sauce. Mm. Although, to be honest, this cake is delicious On just its as own. it is. Absolutely. I was thinking a little bit of whipped cream or some powdered sugar, and you, you could can almost do that. Do it. Now, mm -hmm. what we have here to decorate it is this gold dust, this edible gold dust. Um, edible I love this. gold dust, you can no get this comment. From a baking supply store. Wow, and you, you do that before the raspberry? Yes, you okay. do this on the cake. So I would do this before we slice it. Okay. So now is a great time. Oh, look at that. And it's so pretty. You could also use powdered sugar, but I mean, edible gold. Hello. <laughs> Does it taste? No. It doesn't taste of anything. Oh, it's beautiful. I wanna help. It does, it looks like just fancy, fancy gold cake. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Raspberry sauce. Raspberry sauce, I'm ready. We have, these were just frozen raspberries. Okay. Um, organic frozen raspberries, we've defrosted them. That's easy. We're gonna put them in the blender. Okay, like oh, to take sure. the lid off. Okay. Um, we pour them in there. We're gonna sweeten with agave. Agave is from the same plant that you make tequila with. Excellent. Um, and it's just a taste, so just put a little bit in. Excellent. And then on this? Yep. And then we just blend it till it's completely blended. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, good. That looks great. Okay. Now, if you pass the jug over, yes. we are going to pass this through a fine mesh sieve okay. to get all the seeds out. Uh, 
Okay. Perfect. So you just pour it into here. Mm -hmm. um, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you either use a spatula or something metal, never wood, because you'll get splinters in. Oh. You can put more in. I See, I would never think of that. And then all my guests would have splinter cake. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to pass that through like that. Mm -hmm. And if it's not sweet enough, you can just add a little bit more. Exactly. You just mm -hmm. do it to taste. Okay, so so that we don't have to spend all our time doing this, why mm -hmm. don't you pass me ah, the squeezy the squeezy bottle with some raspberry sauce that we made earlier. Okay. No seeds in here. Mm -hmm. um, and for decorating. We're, for decorating, exactly. And we're ready for slicing and okay. plating. Oh, well, I've got the plate. Fantastic. My favorite part. Now, do you have to wait until this cools? Absolutely. Okay. We've waited until it's cool to take it out of the um, pan. Okay. To unbuckle it. To unbuckle it. And this is very crumbly. Okay. okay. All right. Now, Lovely. we can do, uh, do you want to decorate it? I, I don't want? think I you should. Do, like, I think I better leave that to you. Okay. Do you want to, do you want to swirl a, a zigzag? Any I would like to have a swirl. Okay. So let's do a swirl. It goes with the swirl of the plate. Oh yeah. Nice. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, see, mine never would have looked like that. And then we can take a little piece of mint. And some extra raspberries. And an extra raspberry. There we go. Three. Always three. Flourless chocolate cake with raspberry Lovely. sauce. Oh, shoot. Get back on there. <laughs> Lovely. I, I, is it ready? Can I taste? Abs of course. Okay, I'm going. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. Why does anybody use flour at all? Right? Oh my gosh, is that great. It's so fudgy. Really fudgy. You can't have more than one of those. Very rich, decadent, mm. and great with the raspberries. It just gives that little bit of tartness. Mm -hmm. Excellent. This I could do. Well, I could eat it. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> I'm Sujai Steinhauer. And I'm Erin Lee. And we'll see you next time on Feeling Good. If you want more information about the show, Check us out on the web at www.feelinggood.tv. Now, is Bailey poisonous if you eat it? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay, it misinformed. Absolutely delicious. So don't worry. Go it's ahead and eat that <laughs> if you want. It's a staple of cooking around the world. Okay, okay. Where did you hear that? My mom, really? <laughs> I probably was sneaking into the cupboard too much. She's like, that's poisonous, uh, don't eat that. <laughs> so, okay, great. What is this? This is oregano, a very fragrant herb, uh -huh. and quite commonly used in Creole or Cuban cooking. Okay, Absolutely. so this is a Cuban dish? Yes, it is. Okay, and then what is this? This is the salt, and we're actually using kosher salt. Cuban kosher. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs>